Buenos dias. Good morning, guys. We are here in Calvia in Mallorca. We're going to shoot a house today for the furniture company, for the architect and the developer. Mm -hmm. And we're here for three days. Yeah, it's so sunny today, right? Yeah, finally, it's so nice out. Just when we work, it's sunny, no, not when we leisure, right? Yeah, we're working when the sun is out. A model is coming, a male model, for the shoots, for the lifestyle pictures, and a dog, and they're gonna bring a, a moped as well. This angle that Art's shooting right now is so nice. <laughs> It's a it's a real atmosphere of the shoot. <laughs> Sometimes the angle that the architect wants, they are not matched with the furniture designer one. So we have to do a variety of images for, for them. <laughs> like eating this. But Art is shooting now the model from the side of the pool. And we shot one from a from that angle just now. You can see Art from the corner of the pool over there. <laughs> it was like stressful watching him walk around the perimeter with his camera and then the models over there. So he already shot from this angle and now he's shooting that way. And I feel like there's a difference between like when an architecture shoots with people and when like a fashion or lifestyle person shoots with people. Yeah, I've never been in a shoot where the model is like so like so stationary, which is I guess kind of common in architecture other than like walking from side to side, but anyway. Do you like shooting with models? Yeah, I do because it's, it's different from the norm. I wouldn't shoot weddings or something like that, but I, I enjoy shooting with models in the... Uh, is it hard for you? It's not hard, but it, I, I, I think I should improve a, a bit more the, the thing you told me, the poses, the, the, they're acting. Yeah, I should direct yeah, them a bit more. Yeah, because I was telling Art, like, because he's looking at the light in the building, obviously, because <laughs> that's what he shoots. Yeah. Really. But yeah, when you have a model, you also have to look at how the light hits the model. Like even just a little, even just your camera moving a bit or they're moving the face a bit, the way that they're, the light hits their face and creating the shadows, it really changes the mood. And even there is a shot where the model was on the pool looking out and you can see his back muscles. I would have maybe asked him to turn a little bit more so it's more defined, his muscle tone. You have to you have to help me. You know? I mean, it's just like I haven't shot this I... style in like five years or something. So it's like I have to remember how to yeah, yeah. how to shoot it. Yeah. But... And plus this, and plus like when I shot it, it was way more like editorial and fashion, which isn't the point here. So I have to think of how, how the balance of it. Like you know, having the model, but obviously the main focus is the building. But you just have to make the model more natural, and that's where I have to learn because it's like the focus isn't them, but they're high, they're they're highlighting the building in a way. How did you see the shit? You always hit the negative stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or like in the in the DR video. The lighting is so crucial. I didn't realize like like when you're shooting outside, you're waiting for the clouds to come and go. I feel like. I never really did that before. <laughs> and, and, and the light, the perfect light for every room as well, the yeah. sun position. Yeah, you were checking it and I'm, I'm a bit lazy. So well, well no, it. but you, you, you're you doing it as well, but for real estate, this, you go you go just one time. Yeah, and it's like pretty much like it's, as fast as it's you can different. shoot it. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It was also my first time with the Cam Ranger, the wireless tethering. And yeah, that looks so useful for clients on set to move things around. I've seen a lot of American photographers. A lot of them use like laptops and now I see how it's like so cumbersome to move here and there. I mean, I kind of, I don't mind it because the screen is way bigger, but... The laptop is pretty convenient because... And there's a stand. Yeah, yeah, and the, 
the problem with the Can Ranger, especially the one I have, the, the, the version 2, is so unstable. I don't know why. It shouldn't be like that. It's nice to work uh, tether, wireless or tether, because when you're working with a stylist or with a client on set, you, it's easy to, to position the things and make decisions uh, uh, because of, with the small screen and the camera is harder uh, to, to judge at this. So we, we made a few variations with the models, the, the style of the pitches. The majority of them were wider and uh, the scale of the model in the, in the frame was small, was more a complement. But we also made another ones that it was more close, uh, close up, and these ones were more uh, oriented to for for commercials, for magazines, and social media, more uh, reflecting the lifestyle. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, the lifestyle, yeah, and the interaction between the furniture and the speakers that they are selling, because they have a. Uh, a high fidelity uh, audio and video shop. I was asking him, oh, you know what? Have you ever even looked at like a a fashion magazine like GQ or something? And he hasn't. And when when I was when I was starting out like ten years ago or whatever, I was studying these like super intensely, like three hours a day. Ooh, wow. Yeah, like Fashion Gone Rogue, Effing Young. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna say it the name. But I was studying it so intensely, and I was, and I made like albums, like so many albums, like maybe a hundred albums of other different styles, and I was studying all the poses and stuff. That's why yesterday there was a shot that I wanted him. I mean, you were saying it would be better for video, but there's something like off about it that I feel like it could be interesting for photo, because you're you're. Because maybe it's different, you know what I mean? So maybe, like, okay, it's not what clients usually see or not what other architecture photographers usually see, but maybe that's a good thing, you know? It's a bit, it looks a bit uncomfortable. Maybe there's some strange movement because he's putting on, but it, it catches your eye. And it's natural, you know? People aren't sitting there like so, like statues. Naturally, people are constantly doing something. So that shot with the jacket, like, obviously language barriers, I couldn't explain it, but I had to show him the pose and he immediately understood it and when I was shooting fashion photography I constantly was like in the shot showing them exactly the pose that I wanted even to the degree of the angle or the shoulders or I was fixing their elbows a bit I was fixing their face a bit tilting you have done some of the, some of the uh, lifestyle commercial right? yeah yeah a lot I even was I even shot for some like athletic brands those are like movements like crazy yeah, yeah. like they're, the models are constantly moving they're jumping everywhere uh, like that I mean obviously the angles are so different but I mean that's the opposite of this it's like the, the sports aspect of it but it was fun to shoot, the sports, shoot that the stuff sport, the sports. Sports. The sports but it was fun to shoot that yeah, it's yeah. Fun, yeah. <laughs> you know more that's than me. why we make a good pair it was my first time, yeah, obviously seeing a animal dog on set. Um, and I like the angles that you did with the dog running to the owner, like if the dog wasn't stationary all the time, it was some movement. Uh, there are some dogs that are more trained for the shoot than, uh, than others. The one yesterday was, was was trained, right? Oh yeah. Was so obedient. But it's difficult sometimes. I have never shot with cats, I think, I guess it's, it's harder, right? We can't. No it idea. would be harder, right? I don't know. But yeah, I like uh, shooting with animals as well because they they complement the, the the space. Well, mm -hmm. When I when I see an empty space, I, I think, oh, that would be that living space would be nice with a with a dog or something. Yeah. yeah. Or with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the the kitchen with the pig over there. <laughs> Like a roasted pig. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment or below if, something. We, if we are so corny. <laughs> and comment below if you guys have also some other tips of shooting with models or animals. Or pigs. Or, or planes. Or planes. <laughs> or 